my name is Sam. I'm from usefulthechild.com, a free tutorial, template, and folder resource. In this video, I'm going to help you understand the elliptical marquee tool in Adobe Photoshop. I'm running the most current version at this time, Photoshop CS5. If you don't already have an image open, simply go to File, Open, or hold Control O on your keyboard and to open an image from your hard drive. The purpose of the elliptical marquee tool is to make a selection of pixels within a layer in Photoshop, simply meaning to select part of an image, in this case in the shape of an elliptical. It can be found in the tools palette or the tools window, which if you don't have, can be found in window, tools, and you will see the tools window appear. It's in the top left hand corner and may be hiding behind the rectangular marquee tool, the single row marquee tool, or the single column marquee tool. If it is, simply hold down, left click, and select the elliptical marquee tool. You should note that the keyboard short shortcut is M, meaning if we're using another tool and we want to use that tool again, the elliptical marquee tool, simply by hitting M on your keyboard, you will be taken back to that tool. Let me show you how it works. Select your layer in the layers palette. If you don't have a layers palette, go to window, layers, or hit F7 on your keyboard. Click on the image, hold down, and drag, you will see a marquee appear, or a circle appear, around your layer. Once you're content with your selection, let go with your mouse. At this point you can move the selection using the arrow keys on your keyboard. Once you are content with your selection, you can do a variety of things, including uh, cropping the image down, which can be done by going to Image Crop. You will see it only crops down to a rectangle surrounding the elliptical. If you want to get rid of these edges, that can be done by inverting the selection, which can be done by going to Select, Inverse, or by holding down Shift, Control, and the letter I on your keyboard. When I hit that, it inverses the selection and selects the edges that we want to get rid of. Simply by hitting Delete on your keyboard, you can get rid of those edges. To deselect the selection, go to select, deselect, or simply hit control D on your keyboard. If when you're using the elliptical marquee tool, you want to keep it a true circle, simply hold down shift on your keyboard. And when you drag out, you will see that the marquee stays in a perfect circle. That's the elliptical marquee tool in Adobe Photoshop. I'm Sam from usephotoshop.com.